Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we are back with another Seven Days to Die mini tutorial uh, where I will show you how to craft and use some of the essential items from early in the game so that you can uh, thrive and survive. So let's get to it. All right, and today we're gonna take a look at farming. Farming is a great way to keep yourself supplied and stocked with both food and um, special drinks and teas that will uh, give you different buffs and benefits. Um, so we'll take a look at how you get started with farming uh, and then how you uh, can grow, you know, make use of your farm. All right, and the key to success with farming, especially when you're starting early in the game, is investing in a perk under Fortitude called Living Off the Land. Starting off in the game, when you go to harvest uh, either plants from the wild or plants uh, that you manage to farm, you'll only get one uh, item every time you gather it. So you can see in the lower right-hand corner, it shows you one. Same thing with this cotton plant. Oh, if it'll let me, there you go. So you start off only being able to harvest one uh, that's a problem for sure. You want to be more efficient than that. But the other thing is you can't um, craft seeds. So you can see here that I have enough. We don't know what the recipe is, but I've got uh, enough of whatever resources are required that I could craft it. Um, but I either need to find a chrysanthemum seed recipe blueprint somewhere uh, when looting or invest in the perk called living off the land that we just sh took a look at. So uh, the first level is gardener. That lets you get two items uh, when you harvest your plants, but it also allows you to craft these seeds uh, for flowers or decorative plants. So they, they call them flowers and decorative plants, but they can be used to brew uh, different teas. Uh, coffee is another one as well um, that you can obviously brew. Uh, and it lowers the cost of a farm, of crafting a farm plot uh, by 30%. When you go to the next level, this is really important uh, because now you can start to get food. You can unlock crafting the seed recipes for vegetables and berries. And your farm plots cost 50% less to craft. And then the final level uh, bumps you up to harvesting three items per uh, plant harvested. So right now, um, I don't have, you know, any of those perks. Uh, and I've only got um, 10 of this rotting flesh. So let's take a look at the farming plot because the rotting flesh is the key uh, farm plot, I should say. There we go. Uh, is the key to building your farm. Um, you don't have to hoe, you don't have to water, you don't have to fertilize with manure like some other games uh, use. You just have to be able to create, uh, craft this farming plot and then you're good to go. So starting off in the game, and you can see that I'm in day two, the farm plot takes four wood, 10 rotting flesh, 25 nitrate powder, and 100 clay soil. So it's somewhat resource intensive and finding rotting flesh, uh, you know, can be a little difficult um, getting started in the game, but I've got 10 here. I've got just enough nitrate powder and I've got plenty of clay soil. And this will take 20 seconds to craft. Um, and that's really all you need uh, to get started. You can gather rotting flesh, nitrate powder. You know, wood and clay soil are pretty simple. Just, um, you know, with a shovel and an ax, you can, you can gather those. And then once you've got your farm plot, you simply place it wherever you want. Um, I like to put my farms just out on the ground near my base. So it's as easy as that. You just dig a hole down in the ground and put your farm plot there. Um, I haven't collected any seeds. So, uh, you know, we can't take a look at that here in this uh, starter game, but let's go back to uh, the other game and we'll see what it looks like once you've invested in living off the land. All right, and if we take a look at living off the land here, I've got uh, two levels that I've been able to invest in. And you'll see that when I go to harvest, say this corn plant that I got two in the lower right hand corner instead of one. The other thing um, that I'm able to do is craft seeds now. Um, so you'll notice when I harvest the plants and all you need to do to harvest the plants is just to, to hit them, you know, have nothing equipped and then left click 
and that lets you harvest your plants. And you'll see that what's left is a seed. So when it just says the name of the plant, blueberry plant, it's ready to harvest. You just hit it and then it goes back to seed. Whereas, uh, you know, if you harvest a wild plant, it just is destroyed and doesn't come back. You know, the same is true of all of these, the yuck plant, coffee plant, chrysanthemum, oops, chrysanthemum. Sometimes it's a little touchy. Uh, aloe vera, you'll see that it's left, what's left is seed. There's another stage that it'll go through called growing. So it'll just say corn growing. So you'll see corn seed, corn growing, and then finally corn plant, and that's when you can harvest it. And so you're just gonna right click to harvest these. It's pretty straightforward. And you can see just in that little bit of time there, we got 18 ears of corn, six mushrooms, 10 potatoes. The other thing we can take a look at here is to see that our farm plot now costs four wood, five rotting flesh. So that's about, that is half, um, half the nitrate powder and half of the clay soil. So it's much less expensive. Um, it crafts a tiny bit faster. It still takes quite a while to craft. Um, but now that, you know, we have uh, invested in living off the land, you'll see that I can craft seed recipes. So... Uh, I've got two yucca. I would need five to get the seed for another one. Uh, let's see, mushrooms here. This is a good one. Mushroom spores. You need five and two clay soil, so then you can craft it. Uh, every one of these has a corresponding you know, mushroom and then mushroom spores. Um, hops. I have some hop seeds that I've collected from... I've got some seeds that I've collected just from looting. So we've got our one mushroom spore. We'll add that here. So all you're going to do to actually plant it, now that we have a seed, find an empty farm plot, equip your seed, and then you're going to right click and it'll just place it there. Now all of these plants need access to sunlight to grow. The exception to that is the mushroom. So if you're building an underground base and you want a food supply, um, you know, you can uh, plant mushrooms. That would be one way to do it. Um, you can also have a shaft of light that goes down and it will provide um, some light and you'll be able to grow in a, in a certain radius. I don't remember exactly what it is, uh, but you can see here once you've harvested, they're all down to seed size. Um, one thing you may do as you're harvesting is accidentally hit um, one of your seeds, right? Um, that happens to me occasionally. I'm trying to hit something else and I hit this, a different plant and lose the seed. That's okay. All you have to do is the, the seed goes into your inventory, whatever it is that you hit. So I'll put my potato plant back. I'll put my corn plant back. Um, what else did we get? A yucca. <clears throat> yucca plant. Um, and I still need to craft one more seed of uh, mushrooms and two more seeds of blueberry. So right now, if we look at our blueberry recipe, you know, we only have the ability to craft one, which is fine. Because uh, I did have one already uh, from looting. And this is kind of my, my basic farm setup. Um, I may expand this. The You know, I have... A row of blueberries, a row of mushrooms, a row of potatoes, two rows of corn, uh, a row of yucca, a row of coffee, one row of chrysanthemum, the aloe, and then hops. So uh, I use the corn for lots of things. You can use it for cornmeal. That can be used to create um, you know, a variety of different things. So if we look at cornmeal, we'll just craft one of those. Um, it's also... Corn is also uh, an important item that goes into your meat stew, uh, vegetable stew. You can completely get by with potatoes, corn, and mushrooms if you don't want to make time to hunt. Um, you'll get some uh, meat anyways in the course of just uh, exploring and having to fight animals off. But uh, you can, you know, with just the potato, the corn, and the mushrooms, you can do fine, right? And this, uh, you know, provides quite a bit 
um, of, uh, of food for you. And then the cornmeal can be used certainly to create cornbread, but also grain alcohol, plaster casts, and a variety of other recipes down below. You can see a lot of these are still locked um, and can be unlocked with the master chef. So the, the chef kind of works <clears throat> hand in hand. I have to see where is Master Chef. Maybe. Oh, here. Master Chef is under strength, which is odd. But you can see as you invest in different levels of Master Chef, you can um, cook different recipes that get unlocked. You can also find blueprints for recipes as you're out um, looting. So let's see. That pretty much covers. Um, Planting, harvesting, um, let's see. Oh, the other reasons I've got these blueberries are good to just carry around uh, if you just need to top off a blueberry pie, uh, yucca seed, chrysanthemum, and coffee. These three I always grow because they create um, different teas uh, and coffee, obviously, uh, that give you some nice hydration and some nice buffs. Um, the aloe vera is important because... Uh, you can create aloe vera cream with that. You need eight. Uh, sorry. Um, you need four. So for I was able to craft two with eight. Uh, and the aloe vera cream um, is in turn used to uh, create the first aid bandages. So uh, if we take a look at these, it's pretty important to have a steady supply of aloe vera cream and not have to be running to the desert constantly. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, that's, you know, the setup for farming. Um, let's take a quick look at how you can get the rotting flesh, which goes into, it's one of the key ingredients um, for your farm plot. It's kind of the limiting ingredient, really, other than nitrate powder, if you don't have easy access to that. Well, you will definitely find rotting flesh when scavenging. One of the best ways to, to gather up rotting flesh is to look for these carcasses um, that are usually on the road somewhere. Uh, I usually find them in the morning. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's usually when I see them and then just hit them with an axe of any kind. And you can see I got uh, one rotting flesh in this case. Another way to get rotting flesh is to harvest zombied animals. So zombie Doberman pinchers, zombie bears. Um, if you harvest them with a blade or, uh, or a bone knife of some sort, uh, you will also get plenty of rotting flesh. And that's going to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, hopefully it helps you out early in the game and, and throughout and creating a steady food supply. If you want to be notified when other videos like this come out, uh, please do consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support. See you soon.